Algemin, congratulations, a successful debut at 145 pounds inside the octagon. How did you feel this time around moving up those 10 pounds? I definitely felt better. Um, it was the most nervous I think I've ever been for any fight in my life, probably even my debut fight. Um, you know, just the unknown going up to 145, tough dude, veteran, been around the block, a couple main events here and there, beating up some tough dudes. Uh, very scary not knowing what's going to happen. But thankfully, the work we put in was enough, and I got to show that I am big enough to compete at this weight class. Once you were actually in there, how did you feel with the threats that Calvin presented? I, if I'm being honest, I felt like everything was kind of moving in a little bit of slow motion. I, I felt like uh, the training we did was spot on, was able to see a lot of the things. And it was like being back in the training room. Yeah. In terms of your wrestling, that's what gave you, you know, the dominant advantage in this one. But what about on the feet? How comfortable did you feel there? Yeah, that's where everything felt slow motion. <laughs> on, on the ground, it was a little bit more challenging because he was actually more well prepared than I thought he would be. But um, standing up, I felt like I was able to slip the punches, land my shots where I wanted to land my shots, um, stay out of range of his, his strikes, and do what I wanted to do. Yeah, you, you, you obviously look like such a well-rounded fighter. We know you're the former champ at 35. I know gold's got to be on your mind at 45. Aljamain, when you look at the trajectory here, I know you don't want to rush into fights. I know you want to take your time with things. But what does it look like? I think I might need one or two more, just depending on the matchups that the UFC makes the timeline for Taporia when he competes, um, whether or not Volkanovski is going to get that immediate rematch and when that's going to happen. You know, so there's a couple of things I need to shake out. And from here, I, th I think I just need to do maybe one more just to kind of, you know, I, th I thought this would have been it to show that I have arrived, but I think it was still a good enough performance to kind of put everyone on notice. But um, if I'm being honest, I know the UFC likes finishes, so the next one I got to make sure is the best one. Is there anything you would have done differently for the weight cut, strength and conditioning camp in the lead up to 45 now that you have the experience of one under your belt? I don't know. I, I think everything we did was pretty good. I felt strong. I felt fast. Yeah. I, I didn't feel undersized. I didn't put on any extra weight. It's been the same weight I was carrying at, at 135. I just felt like I was just a little bit more lively, had a little bit more energy. Um, I, I think just the nerves in the back kind of got to me. But once it kind of got going, I kind of started to feel like myself again. Yes, and showed just what the Funk Master does. Congratulations on another big win. It's also really nice to see you on Fight Week, especially on Thursday, and you have a lot more energy and pep in your steps. So we appreciate it for our sake, but also for your health. So congratulations. Looking forward to the next one. Thanks.